Hello! Welcome back to another video. Today we have this monitor from Asus. Yep, it's not powering on. So we are going to try to fault find and repair this monitor. We're actually we're gonna try to fix this monitor. So let's dig in it. Okay, so first only things I see for now are these here and I will take this off okay now let's unscrew the mount it's I think it's a visa over there I think you can actually put Vesa here. It's, I think so. So okay, one screw. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. I don't see any screws. I'm going to try to pry. I'll go from the sides and see what happens. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm damaging this prying tool. So how am I? Okay. All right. Two. So you just have to push without much prying. So the yep, just push. And they will come off willingly. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this and come back. Okay, so we are actually in a small flex cable here for the buttons okay. I don't know what this is but I have a feeling it's for the backlight now how do I take this off okay this is one thing all right Okay, now, whoop. now let's see what cables are, ah, oh, come on, I just wanted to take the top off, now I have to, yeah, this is overly complicated, so the red is on this side and the brown is on that side, let's see. Hmm, this doesn't look really too good here looks like it was very warm but anyway these screws off okay. around here it looks very yellowish like yellowed Let's take a look here. This is the part where it was very, very warm. You can see here. It's already brown. So I have a feeling this is dead. If you ask me, this is dead. The capacitors look okay. They don't look leaked. Fuse. Let's check the fuse. For continuity. Yep, fuse is not blown. The fuse is okay. Let's see what it is. Actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna turn it like this. Okay, so what do we have here? This one, I want, I need to know what it is. One N eight zero C three. Oh, eleven. Eleven N eleven N eighty C three. Okay, let's find out what it is. Doesn't matter one. Power transistor. Most power transistor. So I think this is the one that went bad. Now, back to trying to repair this board, this power supply from the monitor. I waited a long time for this. It's an N-channel transistor. It's the one that from the burnt part. I mean, it's not yet burnt, but it's obvious uh, it was more heat here. It was very hot, this part. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna try and change some of the caps. I mean, this one looks a bit that it got very hot and this plastic shrunk. This one a bit. So, I think I'll change this one as well if I can find one because it's close to the end channel transistor so yeah let's uh, let's start uh, changing first the transistor and then with this one the new one it's exactly the same it's an n11 and 80 c3 i found the exact part from infineon I've waited quite some time for it to arrive because it's a, it's a more expensive than usual part and they don't have it on stock. You have to order the part. It's usually you get transistors for pennies, for cents. So, but this one was around seven or pounds or eight dollars, something like this. So yeah. Let's let's uh, try to change it. I'm gonna need screwdriver. Okay, so I can unscrew this little screw here. All right, it's a bit of a big screwdriver, but it works. I am gonna change it after when I'm gonna have to screw it back because it won't work. Yeah, I'm gonna need some. Okay. okay, that's done. Oh, it's cooked anyway, so. Okay, now let's see. Let's put some flux here. Okay, the iron is on, has to be hot already. Okay, I'm gonna refresh a bit the solder so it, it's gonna go easy with the desoldering. Same here and same here. Now take the pump. Okay. Again, uh, not enough, but I'm gonna go after this one again. Let's see, great, I think it already fell. So, yep, already fell. Nice one. First, I want to clean this. Okay, so I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol. Okay. 
to clean here a bit here as well it was a bit sticky so why not give it a clean let's put some new paste I think This would be enough. New thermal paste on. Now let's stick it in. Okay. That's it. This board was that hot that the pads are lifting from the board. I was afraid of this pad, and actually, it was a whole other pad that was the problem. Some more flux. All right. Now, let's solder it back. Now let's clip these. Yeah, it's good. I know it's not that the best soldering ever, but still. It's okay, I'd say. Cleaning the flux. Let's see the caps. <sighs> what values do we have for the caps? We have a 680 microfarad with 16 volts. This one, I don't know if you can see. Okay, now let's see. If we do have one of these thousand microfarad 16 volts 1500 nope that's not what we're looking for that i think it's a value i won't find 160 what the bloody hell one of those times that you have everything else but not what you're looking for All right, I'm gonna leave the caps like this for now. Uh, and first test if this solved the problem, the N-channel transistor, and we'll see with the rest what we do. It's soldered, but it has a small hole there, so I wanna put a bit more solder. Okay. Better. Much better. Now, let's put it back together. By the power of editing, I can put this back. <laughs> Everything is clean and now I can put this back. Okay. Now let's stick this back and yeah. this is how it goes. Put this back here. Yeah. Yep, it's in. It's connected. This back.
I don't know why I took this off, but yep, anyway. Okay. And this back. That's it. Alright, now let's put this back. Yep. You just push it, everything clips on. And we are good to go. Now, let's put... Actually, no. I'm gonna test it like this. Give me a cable. A power cable, I mean. And in the monitor. Okay. Flip it. And let's see. Where is the button? On this side now. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Why? I'm sure it's going to be a revisit video. But now, I'm not... I, no. I'm not doing anything else with it. For now. Alright, guys. I hope it was a bit entertaining. Uh, I will do a revisit video for this monitor where I will do a lot more fault finding. This time I went on the visual things like I went straight for the power supply because no power. I went uh, by the logic that it has to be the power supply. So, next time in the revisit video I will do a fault finding for the buttons well on the other side the button boards uh, the switch the actual connector as well and then i'm gonna do the fault finding on the power supply to see why it's not uh, turning on thanks for watching don't forget like share subscribe and see you next time guys Bye.